Riff, episode 77. Today's band focus is Ultimatum. This is their Puppet of Destruction remaster and expanded edition. So if you've been watching my videos, I keep talking about, about the guy Scott Waters who does the packaging uh, on the, a lot of these remasters. So Scott Waters is the lead vocalist in this band Ultimatum. Uh, he contacted me and uh, asked if I could review his uh, band Ultimatum, which I was like, sure, but I don't have it. <laughs> so Scott was nice enough to send me the original released on Row Records and the new remaster. So I've been uh, had I've had this in my car for about a week or so, and um, I'm very impressed. Um, I must confess, I bought Ultimatum's Symphonic Extremities. I think that was the first record. I remember buying it back in the day, and for whatever reason, it, it didn't it didn't click with me. Um, I initially didn't like Scott's vocals, I'm being quite honest. Um, but listening to this now, I actually really do like it. It's very his vocals are very different. Um and playing this Puppet of Destruction, I was like, wow, this band is really good. I'm, I'm going to have to track down all of Ultimatum's uh, catalog now. Um, you know, sometimes you get a CD, and it just depends on what mood you're in sometimes, and you're like, ah, that, I didn't really like it. And uh, I think I had traded it away um, not too long after that. So, but uh, I don't think I really gave it a good chance. Um, so hearing this now, all these years later... I have to say I really do like it and I love the songs. Um, so we have the 1998 uh, released on Row Records, which was um, founded by uh, Steve Rowe from Mortification. Uh, Steve liked the band so much he signed him to their record. Listen to some of this here. So uh, again, Scott was like nice enough to send this out to me. I'm still going to give an honest review, even though this was uh, a promo given to me. Um, I'll still let you know what I like or don't like about it. I'll always be honest with you guys, uh, and you can feel free to disagree with me when you do. That's cool. Everybody uh, has their own opinions, and I respect everybody. Okay, uh, what's I going to say here? Um, so yeah, so let's check out the packaging on the original Row Records release. So as we can see just in the front covers, pretty much exactly the same except you have the remaster and expanded edition here in the front and you know, these are the same on the sides here. So let's take a look at the inside. So there's a band photo, this is Mr. Scott Waters right here. And uh, Scott, you can write below in the comments how many releases Ultimatum had. I, I, I want to say five or six, but again, I'm not. I haven't. Uh, I don't. I didn't follow you guys, so that's something I got to get caught up on. So here you have each lyrics, each each song with the lyrics. You got band photos on top and bottom. Oh, I like this layout. It's very nice. You got all the lyrics, which is good. 
you know, I just like the layout. You got the songs, really cool looking. Uh, there's uh, some common uh, uh, by uh, some information by Scott about the band. Uh, now this is really cool, I have to say. So you got the band members here, and it's by X-Ray. So that is really cool. Uh, how, how, what's, what's more metal than, than this? So let's see, produced by Ultimatum, engineered by Don Hilton Burton, recorded in New Mexico, USA, that's where Ultimatum's from. So it was mastered in Australia. Layout by Scott Waters. T-shirt information. So, um, so that's the uh, the jacket there. This is the way the CD looked here. Let's take a look at the back. Here's where you could start. We start from with some differences. I don't know how this glare is gonna be. Here, yeah, let's see. Kind of move a little bit. And you're gonna see outside over here now. Yeah. No matter what I do, you're gonna see something. I'm gonna do this. Um, let's play another track here. Yeah, all these songs are really good. Uh, Ultimatum style. They are. They they're a little bit metal, heavy you know heavy metal, a little bit thrash, and a little bit speed metal, and it's all kind of mixed together in uh, in each song. Uh, real, if you like metal, you're gonna like Ultimatum for sure. Um, so this is the original back. So you have the song with the number, and it went back and forth, alternating. You get the Ultimatum logo here with the um, the puppet. I don't even know what you call that thing. Controller? I don't know what you call that. I'm not a puppet expert. Um, now this is the new remaster reissue. This was done on uh, Rocks in 1998. Well, no, this is, the original is 1998. And the new one is 2009 on Rocks. So you did get bonus tracks on this also. So you got a Never Demo, Sins of Omission. That song is a cover song from this record here, which was a um, tribute to Testament. And uh, it was called Jump Into the Pit. Jump in the Pit. And Ultimatum did Sins of Omission. So he included that on here. Uh, also with a 2008 version of Mortal Stop. So it was cool because uh, I'm sure this, this uh, testament issue is pretty rare nowadays. Um, so it's cool he incorporated that. When you look inside the jacket... It has the band. Let's see if I can open this up here. So you got Sins of Omission. You get all the... Wait, listen to this crunch. This is like that speed metal kind of crunchy... And I like that um, the guitarist plays different, you know, one guitarist here and one guitarist here, and they'll play different, not exactly the same thing, which I like, because it keeps it interesting. I'm surprised not more bands do that, to be honest. See how this one's playing the crunch? playing something different. So yeah, I was definitely impressed uh, with the CD, for sure. I was like, wow, what have I been missing all this time? So the insides are the same. The insides are the same that I can see. 
Another cool thing in the packaging, which again, no bands do. I don't know why. Now, when you open up the CD, now you got the you got uh, the lettering on the side there with the, with Puppet of Destruction. Nobody ever prints on the inside of the spine. Nobody does this. It says no instruments were seriously harmed in the making of this album. Still flying a metal freak flag. Oh yeah, right here. Love this part. So again, not a lot of bands will stop and stop with the drums with the guitars going and then and then punch right back in with it. Again, I really like that. So yeah, so uh, on the other side. Oh, let's see if we can read it here. We have um my focus. Uh this is gonna work, let's see. This was upside down? How did they do it here? No, it's right. Let me see. Sorry about this guys. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna tell you what it said. The death death of one gives life to all. That's what it says on the side. It was hard because of the way the, the bend of the plastic, it was it was blurring it. So again, you got the different guitars. I'm not sure if you can hear it, you know, through my phone, but every song is good, honestly. And I'm and again, I'm being honest, I'm not just saying that because I got sent this, it really is good. Super heavy. All right, so we're gonna talk about the remaster. So when I first opened this up on the, on the new you know, digital uh, remastered reissue, I was looking through and when I was looking to see who remastered it, it was remastered by Sid Garcia and my heart sank because I am not a fan of Sid's remasters. And I was like, oh no. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say I don't like it, and you know, I go, he sent me this promo for me, and what am I gonna say now? So I was like, ah, I was like, I was so like sad, <laughs> but I put it in, I listened to it headphones, and it actually sounds good. So this is the first Sid remaster that I like. Because Sid's remasters, the, the guitars sound very airy instead of thick. Um, and you can kind of hear that here, but when I put in the original version, the guitars still sound almost the same. But what Sid did do is he made the, the, the highs clearer. I mean, there's really, you can feel that bass drum punch. So I am really happy with the remaster. another track here. I mean listen to this crunch. Listen to that bass too. So definitely worth picking up. Let's see. I wasn't sure if I was going to tell you this story. So, I'm such a nut on the packaging and the way it looks and how it's designed. <laughs> Scott, you're going to laugh at me at this. So, I was like, you know, you got you got all these strings here coming down with on the puppet. 
I go, does this line up with the with the back somehow, with, with these lines? So what I was doing was, because I was flipping it upside down, because that would be like how you would hold uh, the puppeteer. And I don't know if I can even do this with one hand here. So I was wondering like if the lines had lined up, you know, under, you know, flipped upside down that was controlling the puppet. So I wasn't sure if that's uh, like some kind was some kind of secret secret thing that you would find out. But none of the lines lined up. So that was just my me and my crazy <laughs> mind uh, trying to make things uh, fit in um, for the front cover and back cover. So that would have been cool. Um, nice crunch. I love this. World of Sin. Play another one. I love these verses. Very cool. Every song is good, seriously. Good. We fast forward just a here in this one. Let's take a look at the new uh, insides. Well, I didn't talk about this. So this is the same. You just added a few extra, uh, you know, things here. Let's take a look at the inside. So we added a collage. Just a band here. I'm trying to stay the glare to stay off the camera here. So I play with Mortification and Jesus Freaks. Whew. Man, that must have been a show. It's the only thing that sucks living up here in the Northeast. None of these bands come up this way. I'm 
Uh, Scott talking about the new uh, reissue. We got the jacket here. Picture. So as you can see, there's one big glaring thing that's not in the reissue jacket. Lyrics. So the original, um, the original, I'm gonna have you, you know, you would have to keep just because it has all the lyrics. So I'll never uh, trade this one away because I always want to have the lyrics. So that's the only negative on this, really, honestly. Um, it sounds great. But it, it was a huge improvement from the Rogue re release, um, quality-wise, the sound. Now let me shut up here for a second. <laughs> Do the um, this is the Testament cover. I'll play some of this. It sounds raw. Alright guys, I wanted to play just a little bit of that. I tried to play almost every tr a little bit of every track on here. Um, I just want to say, Scott, thank you for all the uh, work that you do on all the reissues and um, all the remastering, the, you know, the repackaging. Uh, it, almost every every time, it always looks good. And uh, I just want to say thank you for for me and from all the fans. Uh, thank you for all that you do uh, for our little uh, our little world of metal here. So, all right, guys, this is a long episode, but uh, you know I had to go over a lot here. So, um, uh, keep watching. Uh, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Later.